nine o'clock already what's going on everybody kev here today we're doing biffy peak or engagement mountain it's about three and a half kilometers and 450 meters elevation gain it's pretty short so uh should only take you between two and four hours after we came to the side of the highway there was a gate there that's how kind of how you know you're at the right trailhead and a couple minutes down this road thing a pretty well-defined path to the left and uh if you walk in there's a ribbon on your right i wasn't originally planning on going hiking but ali who i met last year on a group hike to mount smutwood messaged me saying uh, she had a day off so i messaged tristan shortly after asking him if he wanted to go with us and uh, we were looking at a few different trails but ended up choosing Biffy Peak because it was uh, really close to the city and not that long so uh, we wouldn't have to be stressed about uh, completing anything too crazy. There's a cairn here after you get this view of the valley. You can see there's a refinery there. It's kind of the only eyesore of this hike but it's not too bad. There's about three trails up this mountain but we did the out and back one starting from the highway. The trail is pretty easy to follow but in some sections like this one where it's it's rocky uh, you just got to join up back to the trail on the correct path i took a lot of time lapses i'm kind of addicted right now look at those clouds this isn't the most popular hike in the world but you know i'm okay with that there's tristan's trusty watch telling us where to go sometimes you just gotta get out there go for a walk be in nature in the trees it's really nice out today, like no wind on the way up. And then we have our obligatory water break. Mmm. Some more time lapse. I recently bought some uh, some more batteries for my camera, so I can waste energy just uh, taking a lot more pictures like these. And, um, and not have to worry about my camera dying in the middle of the hike. People were saying the views weren't too good on this hike, but it actually wasn't too, too bad. If you've done Heart Mountain before, probably just skip this one. It's the same views. But for what it was, I wasn't too disappointed. It was still a fun day out. And if you made it this far in the video, please hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. This mountain is good though if you only have half a day and uh, want something only a little over an hour from Calgary. And then afterwards, you can just quickly you know, drive over to Canmore and get some food at a restaurant with your friends. There's the highway that goes to Canmore. Once you get higher up, there's kind of like this little plateau of woods. It's easily navigated at one point. There's a fork in the road, so we went left and that seemed to be the right way. Okay, that backpack is not working for Allie. Look at that. Those poles? No. She must have got caught on like 50 branches that I never got recorded. There you see the full name on uh, Tristan's watch, so we must be getting close. But uh, we, of course, we have to take pictures. I'm pointing at Yamnaska there in the distance. Uh, some sick picture that Tristan took. Oh, look at those delts on Tristan. Now uh, he's doing something cool. A weird lame picture of me. Uh, yeah, another time lapse because, like I said, I just took a bunch this time. It gets a bit rockier higher up, but here we decided to stop and you know look at the train. Just enjoy the day and throw a like if you love hair flips. We're getting pretty close to the top here now. After, I don't know, maybe three, four hours. We we really took our time with it, but here are the final few steps to the summit. As I try to record my uh, mandatory 360 view as smooth as possible, you get to see some surrounding peaks on here. It's kind of like... You do this one while, and when you're up there, you look at other mountains you kind of want to do or have done already. I love doing mountains on the side of uh, the Rockies because then you get to see over the prairies pretty far away. That's what I love about hiking is getting high up uh, with your own two feet and then you get a nice view to see. Some pictures at the summit and then now we're walking over to the other side. Here you get a good view of um, 
Mount Baldy actually. It looks pretty cool from here. It's right around uh, above Ali's left hiking pole, but there she is. In the middle of the frame, you can see there's that, that slope. That's where you, I started anyways to go clockwise. Then you go up to the north peak there on the left, down and away from the camera to the south peak in the middle, and then down and up to the west peak on the right. I always counted Mount Baldy as one peak, but um, when you read in guidebooks, it kind of describes each peak as a different objective. So that's why uh, I always thought Tower of Babel would have been my 25th peak, but I kind of recount that now as uh, three peaks. So if you're wondering why it jumped from 25 to 28 or something like that, it's because I, I count it different now. So here's Allie taking pictures of uh, Tristan at the summit. It got windy while we were at the top. We stayed here for about an hour. Tristan uh, brought some cocoa. They threw on their jackets, but I still felt pretty warm. So it's crazy looking at the, uh, the clouds here. You can see off in the distance, there's Holling Peak, uh, Miner's Peak and Mount Lawrence Grassy. Those are all really good hikes. Miner's Peak and Holling are really close together. So if you're doing Holling, just knock out Miner's as well. And uh, there's an equipment shed there, no equipment inside, so that was a lie. But uh, Mount Lawrence Grassy, probably one of my top favorite hikes, along with like King Creek Ridge. King Creek Ridge is a bit easier. Mount Lawrence Grassy, that's a bit more serious of a mountain. It takes longer, but uh, still, still doable by the capable. On the way down, it was um, kind of boring, but and dusty, but. You know, it's got to do what you got to do to go down. So we're passing through the trees here again. And uh, I tried to stay far away because every time Tristan and Allie took a step, it would kick up dust and then I, I'd be eating their dust. But uh, we're getting to the end here now. They're just exiting the trail back onto that wide trail. There's Allie getting stuck again and Tristan laughing. But it took us about five hours and 45 minutes. It won't take anyone that long, but... Uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you uh, drop a like and a subscribe. I'm always posting mountain videos. And let me know if you guys like this kind of format with the commentary. Or if you don't like it, you could leave a thumbs down as well. But I hope you guys enjoy your day and I'll catch you later. See ya.